Hey there fellow Minecraftians, welcome to a new video and um, today I'm going to show you the basics of redstone. Now some of you may already know this, feel free to not watch this video but um, yeah it's just so some of you guys who haven't got much experience with it can learn something about it. Now, uh, redstone basically is like an electric wire. As you can see, when you give it power, it will transmit that power to a device which it's hooked up to. Now this is a redstone torch and this will be um, used to provide the power. As you can see when I put a redstone down and I put a torch next to it, a redstone torch, it will be lighting up. Now I guess you all know that so I'm not going to get in too deep with the basics, the basics of the basics, because, the, because that's all pretty obvious. Alright, here I've got a few of devices that um, can use redstone um, wiring. Now, how do you activate this wire? There are multiple ways. As I showed you before, just placing a normal redstone torch that will uh, send uh, an active signal. But you can also actually get a lever, you can create, you can craft this. Place it down, and when it's flipped up, it will have an on state. When flipped down, it will have an off state. So like this you can either turn it on or off. Now you've got the button and this right here um, gives off a pulse for 0.4 seconds. So when I press it, it pulses once and that will actually trigger um, this dispenser which I placed here. But uh, maybe it's more clear if I put like, uh, let's see, where is it? Ah, here we go, piston right here. You can clearly see that this pulses for 0.4 seconds. Now you've got two pressure plates <coughs> and the difference between isn't purely aesthetic because the wooden pressure plate will actually be activated by anything that gets on it so if I step on it it will be activated if I throw an item on it it will be activated it will be activated by everything. This however is a stone pressure plate and this will only be activated if you step on it or a mob st steps on it so if you throw an item on here, nothing will actually work. And this is another important thing. Um, you can change directions of real uh, rails in Minecraft with redstone power, but I'll get to that later, maybe, maybe in the next video, if I will make one, if you want to. Alright, so that's just a basic thing. Now let me <coughs> get started with a few basic logic gates. Okay, starting off with the logic gates with the one, the only one that you can actually craft, and that is the redstone repeater. You can place it down like this, and when you put a signal through it, it will actually repeat it. Because um, that's something too, you can't make redstone wire too long. It will only go up to four blocks, or uh, fourteen, I mean, sorry, fourteen blocks, I believe, maybe fifteen. But um, as you can see. As further as it goes, the signal gets weaker, and around here it should start to get dead. Yeah, here you can see it's dead, and now it won't power anything anymore. As you can see, if I put this down here right now, I'll just extend it just a bit more. Um, I put this right there, it doesn't, uh, it isn't powered, even though there's a torch there. Now, if I place a redstone repeater here, it will be powered again because it is repeated, the signal. Um, another thing you can do is with this is set a delay, which can be useful for quite a lot of things as well. So now, when you activate it, it will wait for a full for a small time, and then it will activate. Now, like this, this setting it doesn't give a delay. This one it will give 0.1 second, like this 0.2, and like this 0.3, I believe, seconds. So um, that's it for the, um, the redstone repeater. Another very very important one is the inverter. You will need this a lot of times. It basically inverts the signal. If the signal is on, the redstone is on, it will turn off. If it's off, it will turn on. So how you make this is place your redstone like that, get a block, and with the torch on the other side, and continue to the redstone wiring. So when you place redstone right here, just like that, you can see it just inverts the signal for whatever 
has been selected. Now, a very important thing that you should know is about these torches that um, you can only turn them on or off when they're on a block. When I try to turn them off like this or so, nothing will happen. If I want to turn this one up, off, I mean, I want you would uh, you must place it on top of a block, then get a signal to it, and then it will turn off. But that will only work when it's either on top of a block or on the side of a block. So that's very important to remember. Okay, here it come become a quite a just a bit more difficult, but um, yeah, I'll just show you. This is an AND gate, I believe, and this will only um, deactivate the signal when you when both inputs. You've got two inputs. If both two inputs are activated, only then it will go off the signal. So I've got one or this one or neither, it all will stay on. Now if you want it the other way around you can also just like I showed you before get a repeater in here and do exactly the same. Um, let's see let's get this faced up. Just like that and now it should be just reversed. Um, as you can see now if it's activated it will be on instead of it's always on and when it's activated it's off. So um that's just uh, another logic gate. There are <coughs> an insane amount of logic gates, and um, yeah, they're not all as important. Uh, one is harder than the, than another. This is a fairly easy one, and I thought I'd show you. Now to demonstrate some of the things that we've learned today, I'm going to show you how to make a password protected door. It will only open if the right password is selected. Now, for example, we want um, let's see. What shall we do? This one, the middle two, we want faced up, and the other two faced down. That will be the correct uh, answer to open the door. Now, like this, when you see, they're all not activated. So what we want is that they're only activated in, um, whoopsie, in this state. So what we're actually going to do is going to invert the outer two which we want just like this and now when I get the signal just like this it will um, always when well I'll just get it into one actually I'll bundle it just like this and um, now it's no matter what um, only when the right uh, thing is selected it will be de deactivated because we've got inverters over here so now it's off and now it isn't so um, li just like this you can connect it to the door but of course now it's the wrong way around now with any combination but the password it will open so what we're going to do is going to do what I've shown you before. Maybe I want to move the door a bit more to the to here, but um, we're going to put an inverter in there. So like this, and then like this. Now we set that middle too, so let's try it out. Now if any combination but the one I showed you, or I set the middle two, it won't work. Only when I put this one down, this one up, this one up and this one down it will go open and um, that's just a basic a very basic um, way of making this and you can this of course looks ugly as hell but you can also hide it very well underground because that's almost just as easy it's just get it down in the ground and um, get it back up so um, this is just the first tutorial it's a quite simple one but uh, I hope you enjoyed and learned something but for now, thanks for watching guys, and I hope to see you next time.